Welcome back. Now we're going to talk to Big Ten swimmer of the championships, Cody Miller. And Cody, congratulations on your remarkable performance over the course of this last weekend. How happy are you with how you performed this weekend? Um, thank you. I'm really, really happy about how I performed this weekend, and more so than myself, my team. Um, my team really stepped up their game and uh, swam out of their minds. I mean, we've been talking all week about how our conference meet was the fastest meet in the country this past weekend, and um, hands down it was. And it was basically two teams. It was Michigan and us. And I mean, everybody knows, everyone in the country knows that Michigan is the, the fastest team in the country right now. They've got the most depth, but we went toe to toe with them and had three or four up in almost every big final. So I'm just really proud of my team and we're looking forward to NCAAs. You were able to compete at a very high level and you mentioned NCAAs last year, the swim team finished in the top 10, kind of a return to excellence for Indiana men's swimming. And you feel maybe this year is the year to crack the top five for IU. That's right. Um, last year we were 10th, and we were 10th without any relay points, and we were down two or three of our best swimmers, really. And so this year we're going in with probably even more divers. We'll know next week after they have their um, zone meet, and we're qual we've qualified multiple multiple relays, and um, we've we've got multiple guys all seated in top eight. So we know we're going in with more points, and we're we're really excited to crack the top uh, crack top five. This is a team that you mentioned that's got a lot of high quality swimmers. They're actually two Big Ten swimmers of the year on this team, yourself and Eric Ress. Is this a, kind of a situation where when you're competing and training next to really talented guys, it makes you a better swimmer? Yeah, I mean, the, the depth of our team this year has been bigger than it's ever been, um, at least my years here and even in the past. And that really helps motivate ourselves. You know, with, with Eric being such a, such a fast swimmer, I mean, him training I am with me this year really helped me go 141 in that two I am. Um, I mean, my roommate James Wells also does backstroke and freestyle, and I mean, he's top five at NCAA is easy too. So we've got so many guys that are that are that fast at that high level. It, it really helps everyone improve, not just me, but I mean, that's why our whole team really rose up to the occasion and swam so fast. Here you are, one of the best swimmers in the country, one of the best swimmers in the world for your event, and you're just a junior. What do you hope to accomplish by the end of your college career? I mean, I'd like to get a, an individual national title under my belt. I mean, I've got three events that I'm pretty close the possibility of winning um, so that's a goal and really I'd, I'd really like to help my team achieve at that top five spot um, this year and then even next year we're, we're really not losing very many points and we're gaining some some really high quality recruits so my senior year is going to be even uh, even a bigger year is your goal in 2016 to be representing the United States in the Olympic Games yes that has been a goal of mine since I was since I can remember um, I mean it's it's four years about Little, little under four years away, and that's a long ways away to think about, but it's, it's always in the back of my mind, keeping me motivated, and um, that's definitely what I'm looking for. Indiana is a school that's won 25 total team national championships, and there's so many programs within the department that have a great tradition, but maybe three stand out beyond all of the others tradition-wise, men's soccer, basketball, which all of the fans know mm -hmm. about, and swimming and diving. What's it like to go to work in Councilman Billingsley Aquatic Center, named maybe after the two greatest coaches of all time for what they do, and then you see the banners on the wall, the placards of the great swimmers who preceded you. What's it like to carry on that legacy of Indiana swimming? I mean, it's just a great feeling, especially this past meet, because it was at home and because we were representing all those people that came before us. I mean, we really went into the meet with the expectation that we had to do something great for the people that came before us and you know there was there was a lot of alumni at that last Big Ten championship meet and um, we knew we were swimming for something bigger than ourselves and we're just real proud that um, we lived up to the hype and we're ready to swim even faster at NCAAs. Cody, best of luck in the NCAAs. Great to meet you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.